we already have a positive record of progressive and highly impactful collaborative efforts between universities in Kenya and the US. One shining example is the transformative academic model providing access to healthcare, commonly known as AMPATH, which, belongs, which brings together more university, more teaching and referral hospital, and, um, and the AMPATH consortium of global universities led by Indiana University and the government of Kenya. This collaboration has made our healthcare landscape more responsive, effective, and inclusive. And as you heard, 24 million people in Kenya are beneficiaries of this collaboration because of improved healthcare outcomes. <laughs> Before us, therefore, is an undeniable opportunity to enhance our partnership and to build on the achievements and promise of AMPATH and deliver transformative insights and solutions beyond healthcare. Other critical challenges, both local and global, include financial inclusion, agricultural productivity, water management, clean energy, and of course, climate action. In an increasingly technology-driven world, STEM is the bedrock of innovation and progress, and a workforce skilled in STEM is essential for economies which aspire to become progressive and also to become sustainable. I am delighted that today, inspired by the initial Mboya Kennedy airlift and determined to foster future skills, Kenyan universities and their counterparts will sign a framework agreement to enhance student and faculty exchange, joint research and innovation aiming to bolster capabilities for a digital future. <laughs> Kenya stands ready to maintain its vanguard role to accelerate the Silicon Savannah. I am confident that this program will also support global security, ensuring the diversification of critical goods and services. And speaking about artificial intelligence, you may wonder what is the space of artificial intelligence in Kenya. I keep saying this story because it is true. I went to one technical training college 400 kilometers away from Nairobi in some remote part of Kenya and met this young man, Brian. And because of technology, because we have deployed um, internet and fiber optic connectivity ac around the country, Brian spoke to me and told me, Mr. President, I'm a student, but I take out two hours of my time to work online. And so I asked him, so what do you do online? Brian told me he works for an artificial intelligence company in Germany. Just contextualize that. Brian has never been to the capital city in Nairobi. He doesn't have a passport. He hasn't been beyond his village. But look at the power of technology. He works on one of the most complicated areas, artificial intelligence. We are yet, even as a, as a government, to have clarity in policy around artificial intelligence. But look, Brian is already working in that space. And he knows more than many policymakers about <laughs> artificial intelligence. That is the power of the collaboration we are asking to sign into this morning. Kenya and the US are bound by a shared culture of innovation. This is why our Silicon Savannah is globally recognized as a hotbed of innovative breakthroughs and a radical digital solution in our sectors. M-Pesa, for example, 
the revolutionary mobile money technology heralded Kenya's entry into fintech and the financial technology space. We therefore have a common foundation to empower our youthful population with skills in STEM, with particular emphasis on developing a robust capacity to engage with the global digital technology sector on a much and such advanced and emerging technologies as artificial intelligence, robotics, and data science. Let me say this, Tom Boyer, who was the architect of the air life that gave thousands of Kenyans an opportunity to study in premier universities in this country. Today, in his honor, we have a public university in his name, Tom Boyer University in Homer Bay County. And I have had the privilege to travel with the governor of Homer Bay. She's in our midst. She must be a very proud lady. <laughs> By following in the footsteps of the historic airlift, we shall empower a new generation of disruptive thinkers, ambitious visionaries, and innovative problem solvers, and thus divine a brighter knowledge-driven future where progress transcends borders, transforms lives, and delivers prosperity. Practitioners are ahead of the policymakers. In my proposal, I am concerned about the persistent underrepresentation of women in STEM, posing a grave challenge to inclusive development in other sectors. Despite evident progress, Kenya faces a significant gender gap in STEM at all levels, from education to the workforce. Our partnership must therefore be intentional about promoting women's participation in STEM. <laughs> the STEM mentorship program, implemented by UNESCO in collaboration with the government of Kenya, and benefiting 2,000 young women serves as a model that underscores the power of partnership. And I hope the partnership we will be signing today will borrow from what we are doing with UNESCO. We are determined to leverage the Kenya-US partnership to empower and inspire greater female participation and leadership in STEM. In my midst, just to demonstrate, I have come with many women in my leadership, <laughs> in my administration. And in our, <laughs> I want to ask the women governors who are here, uh, the, the women governors who are here, those, those three ladies are some of our foremost great leaders in Kenya, demonstrating the power of women leadership. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let us therefore stand together in a common endeavor to build a bridge that will lead present and future generations to prosperity. Our commitment to empowering a new generation of leaders with the necessary competencies will ensure a bright future for both the US and Kenya. Additionally, through faculty and student exchanges, we stand to benefit immensely from deeper cross-cultural knowledge sharing, mutual understanding, and of course, solidarity among people. In essence, what we are doing today is laying a firm foundation for our shared values to make a significant contribution to building a freer, more democratic, secure, prosperous, and united world. I thank you.